Hello everyone, we are going to talk about upper limb cutaneous innervation, especially for the anterior aspect of forearm and hand cutaneous innervation. Intercostobrachial nerve, root value T2, it is the cutaneous branch of the armpit or the axilla. Its injury leads to parathesia over this part in axillary lymph node dissection in breast surgery. We have also, this is not important, we have lateral cutaneous nerve of forearm, which is the continuation of the musculocutaneous nerve, which is by itself a continuation of the lateral cord of the brachial plexus. We have also medial cutaneous nerve of forearm, which is a branch from the medial cord of the brachial plexus. We have the superficial branch of the radial nerve, C6, C7, C8. And please remember always that median nerve, we have deep median nerve called anterior interosseous nerve, which in injury, uh, when it's injured, it leads to OK sign. So anterior interosseous nerve, AIN, OK sign. But posterior interosseous branch, is it is the same as deep branch of radial nerve, PIN, it will lead to pure motor uh, affection of the extensors of the hand. It is a pure motor. Why? Because deep branch always goes deep to the muscles, but superficial branch here will go to the skin. It's superficial to the skin. Okay, so it will give the first dorsal web space here. We have also median nerve C6, C7, C8 will give digital branch and palmar branch. The digital branch will give lateral three and a half fingers and the palmar branch will give lateral two third of the palm. We are not going to talk about the dorsal because it's not our uh, job today. Then we have the ulnar nerve C8 and T1. We'll give medial one and a half fingers and medial one third of the palm. The important picture. Here we have the clavicle. So remember above the clavicle, C3 and below the clavicle C4 at the level of the shoulder, and then C5, C6, including thumb, C7, including middle finger, C8, including the little finger and part of the medial aspect of the forearm, and then T1, part of the medial aspect of the forearm with part of the medial aspect of the arm, and T2, the intercostal brachial nerve of the armpit, and then C3 and T4, the level of the nipple. I have finished. Thank you very much. Keep going and next time inside our course, we are going to talk about each of these uh, parts individually, and it will be highly illustrated in our question bank sessions. And please uh, follow us in YouTube and our Facebook and in our Telegram group. Thank you very much.